Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 17th of 2022. Well, it is titled Chameleon Dark Nebulas. So what do we see here? Well, in the constellation of Camellia toward Chameleon towards the far south, we see a number of dark nebulae here. The dark dusty areas are all a part of a nebula. And we look at various types of nebulae that we see around them. And the brownish color that we're seeing is actually emission due. Uh, it's not emission, sorry, is absorption of light due to dust particles. Now, what is a dust particle? In general, it is just a little bit small, bigger thing than an, than an atom. So it's not just an atom or an individual molecule, but something a little bit bigger. It would be vastly smaller than dust particles that we typically are used to here on Earth. Now, it appears brown here and not completely dark because we're looking in the infrared. So as we look in those, the dust actually gives off some light. So everything gives off light based on its temperature. So something that is very cool will look reddish in the visible spectrum. But when it's even cooler than that, like the dust, it will give off a uh, dull glow in the infrared that we can't see. And here we see it as this brownish color in the infrared. So dust, which doesn't give off visible light and in fact makes things invisible, does give off a lot of infrared light. And in fact, a typical light bulb, an old, at least an older style incandescent light bulb, puts out most of its energy in the infrared. So why are they considered inefficient is because they're putting out most of their energy in the infrared portion of the spectrum as compared to the visible part, which is what we really want a light bulb to do. So that's why more modern LED type light bulbs, which focus their energy into the infrared, into the visible are much more efficient. Now we see the dusty areas here and we also see some bright blue stars and we can label these a little bit for you and show some of these different uh, nebulae here from the rippling flames nebula down on the bottom the Talon nebula above that then the thumbprint nebula just a small one there and the host eagle and possum nebula up towards the top. Now on the right hand side we have a couple of stars labeled which are uh, labeled by their standard Greek letter designation. And that is Beta Chameleon and Epsilon Chameleon. Now stars are often named this way in which the brightest star in a constellation is labeled the Alpha Star, the next brightest the Beta, and so on. So stars like Alpha Centauri are named these this way as one of the stars that is very well known to many people. And here we see a couple of those. So one of the brighter stars in Chameleon, the Beta Star, is there. And we can actually see the blue uh, reflection nebula around that, where the dust close to the star is not quite as, as dense and does not block out the light, but actually reflects the light from the star. And that's what we call a reflection nebula around, the, uh, around Beta Chameleon here. So that is reflecting and it preferentially reflects blue light, making it look even bluer around around that star. So we see a number of different types of nebulae today, including the uh, reflection nebula around Beta Chameleon, as well as a number of dark nebulae scattered through the constellation of the Chameleon in the southern sky. So that was our picture of the day for January 17th of 2022. It was titled Chameleon Dark Nebulas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be icons over Australia. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.